Anna. The company are holding a welcome party especially for me tonight, so I need you to do my work for me, okay? Huh? Um, I'm sorry, Rachel, but I'm almost ready to clock off for the day. My friend's waiting outside in the car. Excuse me? Uh, did you just defy me? Because it sounds a lot like you just defied me. You only work part-time. Surely you can be flexible enough to cover me just for tonight. You do know I work full-time at this company, right? Ugh, I told you before I'm not a part-timer. I just have a temporary reduction in working hours to look after my son. Whatever, I don't need to hear about all the minor details of your private life. Unlike salaried full-timers like myself, part-timers get paid in proportion to the hours they work, so you should be thanking me for kindly giving you the opportunity to make more money. I'm going home. What did you just say? Oh, no, you're not. I'll be showing up at the newbie welcome party at the bar the company hired out later on after my friend takes me to pick up my son from the daycare center before taking him to stay with my parents for the night. I'll probably see you there. Wait, what? You're coming to the party too? But I never invited you. I don't need an invite from you. We work at the same company and you're not even a manager. Anyway, I'm cutting it close already, so I really need to head off. You're not invited to the newcomer welcome party, you filthy part-time old hag. I might not officially be your superior, but there's an unspoken rule that full-time employees call the shots over part-time filth. You should know your place, woman. Gross, I can't believe you actually had the nerve to show up at the welcome party. I mean, seriously? Oh, and another thing, I thought of this at work today too, but why the hell are you so buddy-buddy with the CEO? Seeing you laugh and joke together like that makes my skin crawl. I saw you eating lunch with him in the office cafeteria too. You even show up to work with him in the mornings. You should know better. Don't you have a husband and a kid? What disgusting behavior. Have you no shame flirting with the CEO like some goddamn loved up high school student like that? Someone really ought to teach you a lesson. If he's desperate enough to take a worn out bimbo like you up on your advances, he'd be better off going with someone younger and more beautiful on a full time contract. Someone like me. I have more of a right to get along with the CEO than you do. I mean, really, who the heck do you think you are showing up to the newbie welcome party on a part-time contract? You do not get to rub shoulders with those of us who actually work hard. Oh, looky, I just saw you go to the toilet. <laughs> this is my chance. I'll have you out of this party if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> Don't say I didn't warn you, bitch. You did the right thing by taking your belongings with you to the toilet. There's no need for you to come back to the bar now. It was so kind of you to get ready to leave like that before I even said anything. You sure do crack me up, Anna. I'm in such a great mood right now. Do you mind if I say it one more time? Don't say I didn't warn you, bitch. <laughs> Rachel, give me back my purse. Oh, did you finally notice? When did you steal it? Steal? Oh my god, how could you accuse me of something so horrible? Remember when you got all flustered when I poured water all over you in the toilets? I caught a glimpse of your luxury branded purse when you were rummaging through your handbag to find something to wipe yourself down with and, well, what can I say? I took my opportunity while you were distracted. You obviously have no right to own something so expensive while working on a part-time contract, so I figured I'd teach you a little lesson. I'll be looking after your purse for a while. Your money will pay for my drinks at the next bar. What? Drinks are on you tonight. Oh, but don't worry. I'll give you back whatever small change is left tomorrow after work. As for the purse itself, I'll have to keep it because we simply cannot have a lowly part-time filth like you owning something this nice. I've kindly decided to give you my cute little purse in exchange. <laughs> All right, that settles it. Since we're doing a fair exchange, you can't accuse me of stealing anymore, right? Rachel, please stop this at once. My husband gave me that purse for my birthday. Please give it back. Oopsie, <laughs> no can do, sweetie. Anyway, how the hell do you expect to come back to the bar in that sorry state? You look like a drowned rat after I poured that bucket of water over your head in the toilets. Hurry up and go home and change your brat's diapers or something. Craig. Anna, what's going on? Is everything okay? Where did you disappear to after going to the toilet? 
you need to be careful around Rachel. Huh? What do you mean? She's that, new, she's that new girl, right? She's dangerous. She followed me into the toilets, came up from behind me, and poured a bucket of cold water over my head. What the hell? That's not all. She took my purse from my handbag when I was trying to dry myself off. Your purse? Is she insane? That's theft, plain and simple. That purse was a gift from my husband, and she seems to have taken a liking to it. She said she's going to give me back the contents tomorrow at the office, but intends on keeping the purse itself, apparently. She also told me she'll be using my money to buy herself drinks at the next bar you guys go to. Jesus Christ, what the hell is wrong with her? Does she not realize how outrageously she's behaving? Sadly, no. She seems to have precisely zero awareness of how unacceptable her actions are. Holy Mother of God, where the heck do we find these people? I'm starting to have serious doubts about the hiring team. Anyway, I'm heading home now. I'm soaking wet after her little bucket stunt, and if I show up to meet you guys again, she'll probably just do something else to me. I don't want to cause any confusion and let her ruin the party any more than she already has. Right. I generally don't think it's a good idea to negotiate with terrorists, but practically speaking... Now might be a good time for a temporary tactical retreat. Her days are numbered now anyway. On that note, can I leave the rest to you? Of course. Say no more, sis. Thanks, Craig. I'm counting on you. Hey, bitch face. Hello, Anna. Excuse me, I'm talking to you. Hey, why the hell didn't you tell me? You never told me you were the CEO's little sister. You have an obligation to tell me things like that, damn it. Aha, uh -huh, I knew it. So you did forget. Forget what? I don't know what the crap you're talking about. Remember when I introduced myself to you on your first day? Hi there, Rachel. My name's Anna. I'm Craig's sister. Um, what? B but I don't r remember that. Obviously, I didn't say it because I had any intention of imposing myself over you or abusing my position in any way. I just thought helping you understand the social dynamics of the office might make you feel more at home. But, but if you're the CEO's sister, why the hell do you always get to go home early? Or, wait, is that why? If you didn't leave early all the time, I wouldn't have mistook you for a freaking part-timer. According to the CEO, you've been here for a whole seven years? I know what's going on here, Anna. There's only one reason you'd get to leave before everyone else. You're getting special treatment because you're the CEO's sister, aren't you? You make me sick. You're abusing the fact that you're related to the boss to enjoy special privileges in the workplace. I'll report you to, to corporate ethics. No, the police. You deceptive, good-for-nothing lowlife. Shall I say it again? Okay, I'll say it again. Are you ready? Here it comes. I'm on reduced working hours. I know what that means. It means you get to go home before everyone else, including part-time scum, which is not fair. Ah, I see. So that's where you got confused. You don't know, do you? Confused about what? What don't I know? Reduced working hours refers to a specific system all companies are legally obliged to implement and provide all employees access to, provided they meet certain conditions. Huh? A system? Reduced working hours is a system implemented by the Department of Labor in accordance with rigorous legal standards to ensure that all employees have access to adequate time off in the event that they're required to care for children or elderly persons such that a balance between work and private life may be achieved. I recently came back from my maternity leave, but I have to get home early because my son's still very young, which is why I decided to use the system. Basically, I don't go home early because I'm the CEO's sister. I go home early because I meet the conditions required to qualify for the reduced working hour system due to my obligation to look after my son. Oh, um, uh, <laughs> really? You didn't read our company regulations, did you? Does anyone actually read that crap? They're long, boring, and I don't even understand half the words. You don't have to study them in depth. Even a brief read-through would have been enough to get a basic grasp of the reduced working hour system. Besides, even forgetting that, didn't someone go over stuff like that with you during your introduction? I'm sure they did. You probably just weren't listening. Like hell I'm going to remember pointless details like that. It's time for you to give me back my purse, Rachel. N no, I want it. 
It's really nice, and I am so not giving it back. Nah. -uh. Um, actually, the CEO confiscated it, but would you mind getting him to give it back to me? I really like that purse. Like I said before, my husband gave me that purse for my birthday. Anyway, why are you so obsessed with it? Because it's the newest item in Louis Vuitton's Vogue lineup. All the celebs are wearing it. I must have it. Huh? It's limited edition and won't be available for much longer. I've never seen one in real life before, and I am not going to throw away this opportunity to have it for myself. What on earth are you talking about? Maybe you should get your eyesight checked out because that purse is nothing but an old leather bag that my husband's leather worker friend made into a purse as a favor. Huh? A bag? I mean, I guess it's not a surprise that you've never seen a purse like it before. Because it probably is the only one of its kind in the world, what with being made of a few old pieces of leather by my husband's friend. But it most certainly isn't an expensive brand, and it isn't as precious or valuable as you seem to think. Oh my god, are you serious? Anyway, Rachel, I'm pretty sure you have more serious things to be worried about than my purse. Huh? Like what? Didn't my brother tell you at the newcomer's welcome party? You know, that you're fired? Oh my god, what? Me? Fired? You really do never listen to anything anyone says to you, huh? Why would I get fired? I haven't done anything fireable. If you don't think pouring a bucket of water over my head and stealing my purse constitutes a fireable offense, I don't know what to say to you. Anyone with an ounce of common sense would understand that we simply cannot afford to keep somebody as dangerous as you at the company. Your official notification of dismissal will be arriving in the post shortly. Ugh, I'm sorry. I'll be more careful from now on, I swear. Sadly for you, society isn't forgiving enough for that from now on to materialize. You have no future at this company, Rachel, and the sooner you accept that, the better. Ugh, can't you just do something to make this go away? You're the CEO's sister for crying out loud. Won't you tell him you forgive me? And why exactly would I do that? What? My son's starting to get unsettled. Maybe he can sense the fact his mom's talking to an unhinged lunatic with less common sense than a sack of potatoes. Goodbye, Rachel. What? No, please. No, 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 no. This cannot be happening. Ugh. My life wasn't supposed to go this way. Are you freaking kidding me? I can't believe you filed criminal charges against me. You have to stop this, please. Losing my job was bad enough. My life is over if I get a criminal record. Not only that, but my mom and dad found out about what I did, and they are furious. My dad was so mad, he threw a plate of spaghetti at me when I went home today, and if I didn't duck as fast as I did, I would have been a goner. Hey! Quit ignoring me! How can you live with yourself? You're evil! You have mental problems! How can you be so arrogant? You think you get to go through life doing whatever the hell you want to whoever you want, huh? Well, listen to me, bitch. Your husband and son are going to abandon you one day if you keep this up. Mark my words. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I'll be taking your husband for myself. A little birdie told me he just so happens to be the hot young sales manager at Globex Trading Corporation. I met him at that client meeting that time back when I was at the company. He's as handsome as they come, which makes him a perfect match for a busty stunner like me. He's guaranteed to leave you one day, so I may as well take him early while he still has plenty of love-making years left in the tank. With your husband on my arm, I kill two birds with one stone. I get a hunky young stallion to keep me entertained in the bedroom, and I get out of having to pay you compensation because he's rich. Pick up the goddamn phone already. A message from my husband. Ooh, what is it? Is he going to propose to me? Who the heck would want to marry a loudmouthed bimbo like you? Huh? If you have anything else to say to me, contact my lawyer. Goodbye. No, wait! Ugh, you and your asshole husband deserve each other. You'll pay for this bitch! Ugh! You may remember my brother Craig asking the salient question of where the heck do we find these people? 
And it just so happens that I found out later on that Rachel was in fact hired through nepotism when her uncle in HR fast-tracked her through the hiring process. When I heard that, her insufferable arrogance suddenly made perfect sense. As for her reprobate uncle in HR, he was demoted and took a sizable pay cut for his misdeed. As for Rachel herself, she showed no remorse and clearly had no intention of changing her ways, and if anything got worse, so I had no choice but to file criminal charges. I did receive an offer from her parents to settle out of court after they showed up looking embarrassed outside my house one day, but the color drained from their faces and was replaced by a look of sheer despondency when I showed them the chat logs. In an instant, they changed their minds on the out-of-court settlement and vehemently encouraged me to press charges before agreeing to pay me my compensation in one lump sum. Having a criminal record is probably going to make Rachel's life pretty difficult from here on out. But to be frank, that's not my problem. According to her mom and dad, her life going forward will consist of nothing but forced labor, constant supervision, and a 5 p.m. curfew, which means I'll probably never see her again. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button. See you next time.